Hello my friends, today I'm going to show you how to recreate this pattern that I have here with these pink and white stripes. I also have it over here on the other side of the drawing in blue and green. So that's the design, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Now I'm just going to go right in with the pen, I won't need to be doing any kind of sketching. So the way that I'm going to get started here, although you might have a surface to work on already, I'm just going to start in the corner just so that I can show you how these shapes kind of grow on top of each other. So I'm just going to start here with a single shape. And that shape is going to look like this. So again, it's this is a shape that I start off a lot of patterns with, which is a teardrop. And I'm going to color it in with black. Okay. So now that I have that first black teardrop, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a leaf shape around it. So notice how I'm going to start at this peak. And it's going to touch at the bottom, so it's like a little leaf, like a little leaf shape. And then I'm going to recreate that shape two more times. So for me that's a magical number is three. So here's the first one. I'm going to add a second one. And then I'm going to add a third one. So what you'll notice about this is that as these lines head down towards that point at the bottom where they all touch, they get very close to each other. And there is just a little bit more room at the top. So I'm going to add a few more. My next teardrop is going to be over here next to it. And as usual, I'm going to let these fan out. They're not all going to be growing in the same direction. So there's that teardrop. So here's one leaf shape, two, and the third one. And you can experiment changing these shapes, make it your own. You can draw them just like this. So here's the leaf shape, or I'm sorry, the droplet. Sort of looks like a drop. It is black, and then I'm going to add the leaf shape now. One, two, and three. So I have three of them now. And I'm going to start adding a second layer now. And where I'm going to start this second layer is down in this valley, so where it recedes here. I'm going to start another one of those black teardrops. So here it is. I just added that black teardrop shape and now the leaf shape. There's one, here is two, here's the third. Notice how it begins to fill in that valley that we drew it in. So I'm going to rotate this a little bit and here is another one. So down in that little valley, make a teardrop and on it I'll make the three leaf shapes. Here's one, Here's two, and here's three. Whenever I'm on the edge here, it just depends on how much space I have here, I will just gently add a small shape right here, so that teardrop shape on the edge, and that'll help give me a foundation to add some more. So there's one, two, Three. Notice this leaf turned out just longer than the others. So go ahead and experiment with that. And I'm just going to go and add a few more just so you can see what it looks like when it's filled in some more. So there you have it. This is what these look like once you have a good grouping of them. And again, let me show you what it looked like on the completed drawing. So there they are in blue and green. You've noticed I've added some highlights using a charcoal pencil. Here they are over here in pink. So I hope you give this a try. It's a lot of fun. They're very nice.
and I'll see you in the next one.